The family of a murder suspect is speaking out in his defense tonight. Roy Fisher is charged with killing his friend who was found badly beaten in a Hendersonville motel room. Fisher's family says this murder could have been prevented if he'd gotten the medical care he needed. News 13's Emma Wright spoke with them this afternoon. Emma? Family members say Roy Fisher tried to commit himself to Party Hospital on Wednesday for treatment for mental illness and substance abuse issues. Fisher's family says he was turned away. They say if Roy Fisher was admitted to the hospital, this whole situation might not have happened. He just needs help, all, all kinds of help. April Taunton says she was shocked to hear her stepfather, Roy Fisher, was charged with beating his friend, Randy Honeycutt, to death. He's a father, he's a grandfather, he's a friend, he's the most loving person you could ever meet. April says Roy Fisher and Randy Honeycutt were good friends. Fisher even invited Honeycutt to stay with him at the Bon Air Motel in Hendersonville so he could get off the streets. He'll give you the shirt off his back. Taunton says the night before the alleged beating happened, Roy Fisher tried to admit himself to Party Hospital for treatment for mental illness and substance abuse. Taunton says Fisher was taken to the emergency room and then released by hospital staff. He's the best person in the world to be around if he's not drinking. But if he's drinking, he's not my poppy. He's a totally different person. If he had gotten help, he wouldn't have been in the motel room. That man would still be alive. April and her family feel the hospital is partly to blame for Randy Honeycutt's death. Why not take him when he wants to go? That's when you can help the most. You can't force someone to change. They have to want to, and he obviously wanted to change. We asked Party Hospital for their side of the story, but they say they can't comment because of patient privacy laws. April Taunton says her family has gotten the same answer from the hospital, too, but they're not giving up. Really just getting Roy help and finding out what really happened. Um, if he did do it, then I want to know the reasons why, um, and I want to know why Party didn't help him. Roy Fisher is in the Henderson County Jail on $200,000 bond.